Also new tonight, a classic case of Catch-22. Parents want a better education for their kids, but some don't want to pay for it. And that leaves Douglas County West Community Schools in a precarious position. The district's bond failed by less than 150 votes last week, causing plenty of concern at tonight's school board meeting. KATV News Watch Evans Dave Roberts joins us live with this news story. Dave? We asked, could this be the beginning of the end for DC West Community Schools? Buildings beginning to fall apart with no plan to pay for renovations. The district asked the voters for help, but didn't get enough of those voters to say yes. We were disappointed that it didn't pass. Why do you think it didn't pass? Um, you know, I think the property tax issue. Parents supporting the bond blame sticker shock. The failed $45.8 million bond meant $511 per year on a $150,000 home. Money Superintendent Melissa Polanchik says the district needs to fix what's already falling apart. Was there a contingency plan if the bond failed? We have talked about different options. Uh, the needs, like I said, are, are there. And there are some immediate life safety needs that we are going to have to find a way to address. Those immediate safety needs include bringing schools up to fire code and making all facilities handicap accessible. Without taxpayer-approved funds, the money must now come out of the general budget. Do you worry about the future of this school district if they can't get that money that they need to fix this infrastructure issues that they have? Uh, yes. Are you worried about it being absorbed by another district and going away? Exactly. Do you think that's a realistic thing? I hope not. The passion that this, that this district has will, will maintain the district itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's always a possibility. We made calls to neighboring school districts. So far, no one has discussed a merger. We don't have central air. Pelagic says proposing a bond voters will support is now the goal. I have no doubt that we'll be coming back with that in the future. Um, none of us foresee that, that this is going to be the end. Belongic says it's unlikely a D.C. West school building would be shut down for anything, not up to code. But these are safety issues the state requires be fixed with any renovation. That will cost millions of dollars. Back to you. Thanks, Dave.